This is an instruction video as a guide to submitting your CDO form as an MS Teams assignment. First of all, you will receive notification via email that you've been added to your CDO team. This is where you will find your assignment. Once registered, it's strongly recommended that you enter MS Teams via your Office 365 homepage rather than using the MS Teams app. This should give you full functionality in MS Teams. Once you're in the CEDO assignment to which you've been registered, please read the instructions which outline the marking procedure for your form. You'll see that the assignment is marked with 400 points possible, but this refers only to the status of your form and not to the number of credits required. This will be explained later. Open the form on the Teams page. And then fill in the information required. We'll look at the form content at the end of the video. If you can avoid doing so, please do not download the form and just fill it in on the assignments page. All changes will automatically be saved by downloading and re-uploading the form. This will mean that there are multiple versions of the form on the assignment, which always takes time to sort out. You won't be able to delete the original form. If you do have to re-upload the form, please make sure that this is done as a Word document and not as a PDF, as we can't mark PDFs in MS Teams. If you want to add programs, rehearsal schedules, photos, or other relevant documents relevant to your CDO activities, then this can be done through the Add Work button at the bottom of the page. You can upload documents from your computer. Make sure that each document is clearly labeled so that it refers to the relevant activity on the form. In other words, for the first activity, activity 1, 1A, activity 2, etc. The assignments page only accepts 10 uploads, so if you have lots of attachments, please combine these where possible. As long as they're clearly labeled, this should be fine. Photos and other attachments, photos and other items can be pasted directly onto the form as a Word document, but be careful with this. If you add too many, then the file becomes too big and you'll be prevented from further editing. If this happens, you'll need to download the form, remove some items, and then re-upload it. When you think you have completed sufficient activities, click on Turn In. The CDO will first look at your form, and if necessary, will return it with comments and instructions. You can click on Undo Turn In, and then Turn In again if you need to resend your form. There's a code system so that you can follow the status of your form in the grades section. Please note once again that these numbers have nothing to do with your CDO credits. If you see 100 next to your form, this means that it has been improved by the CDO and has been forwarded to the department for marking. 200 means that the form has been marked, but still requires further credits to achieve a pass grade. At both 100 or 200, your form may be returned with comments or instructions. If the form has been returned, you will receive a notification on the Teams site. When the status of your form goes to 300, it means you've achieved a pass grade for CDO, and the CDO will enter the result into OSIRIS. 400 is confirmation that your results have been entered into the OSIRIS system. At any point, you can, of course, look at your form to see if credits have been added and how many have been given per project. The final date for completing your CDO assignment and achieving a pass grade is the 1st of May. But please note that the 1st of May is not the deadline for submitting your form, but rather for achieving a pass grade at CDO. After the 1st of May, Exams will be taking place and marking of the forms will most likely be delayed. 
So please submit your form as soon as you can to get the ball rolling. Now we'll take a quick look at the form itself. Make sure you fill in the details as required. Then you'll see there's a section here in which the credits achieved for each activity will be filled in. You'll see that there's a space for any teaching you might have done this year, either online or in person. Please fill in the details as indicated. And then there is space to fill in up to 10 activities on the form. Each block is the same, so it's up to, make, up to you to make clear what each activity was and how many hours were invested. Make sure basic details such as dates of rehearsals and performances, program content, etc. are all included. You may not need all 10 spaces, so don't feel obliged to fill in more than you need. But please make sure to look through your past schedule to remind yourself of any online activities or promotions, making a website or recordings, extra courses, work that you might have forgotten to include. If you need more than 10 spaces, then you can, of course, copy and paste one of the activity tables. But please make sure that you number each extra one for clarity. The form is a straightforward Word document that all changes made to the form are saved automatically while on the Teams page. Once again, it's strongly recommended that you keep it here and add information every time you complete an activity. If you have larger files, such as sound recordings or videos, please upload these to a streaming platform such as YouTube or SoundCloud, and then paste the link from these sites onto your form in the space allocated. The reflection part at the bottom of the form is in many ways one of the most important sections. This is where you let us know about what you did during specific activities, which of these was the most significant and why, what you gained from the activity, and what were the most important learning experiences. If anything is unclear at any point, you can contact me, d.clements at concon.nl. That's d.clements at concon.nl. You can also use the chat function on the MS Teams page. And I'll be alerted if you have any inquiries. Good luck with your CTO assignment.